It's November 27, 2014, and this is um, the fifth clip on United States government rape of kids and what they did with me specifically. And um, the last thing that I described was a situation where um, where the United States government premeditated ways to force me to um, do blow jobs. And I wanted to explain some of the locations and individuals who were involved in that. Um, when I was younger, before they started trying to make it look like, you know, like rape from me or that kind of thing, or like I was insisting on doing something before that, um, locations that they trafficked, that the United States government trafficked me to to practice this constantly, um, included Oregon and Washington primarily. So, um, Wilsonville, Sherwood, um, those were big pedophile hotbeds. And, um, some parts of Portland, Oregon. Also in Washington State, Moses Lake, Washington, and Wenatchee, Washington, the Dryden area, those are hotbeds for pedophilia as well, and child porn. And they fil facil facilitate what? government trafficking of kids um, from those locations to other locations, including international locations. They have an entire network of people who are involved in it, and um, they traffic kids outside of the United States very easily because they can just take them to a military base and um, <clears throat> lie about whether or not someone was there, send them out on a plane, and um, and do do some of these things um, internationally as well. So um, another place, for example, where this kind of routine behavior was occurring against me was. Um, with the Middletons, and um, that's the Middletons that whose daughter Kate Middleton is married to a royal, to Prince William, literally. And the Middletons were highly involved with the Pentagon, and sometimes it almost seemed more involved with the Pentagon than any other agency. But they. Um, they had to work with the FBI because the FBI is the one that concealed a lot of things about trafficking back and forth with the kids and the money that was the money flow that was coming in for it. And they also had to work with the CIA because, um, well, the CIA w is involved in this kind of treatment of kids and illegal human trafficking is sort of their forte along with the militaries. So what I knew is that, or what I remember hearing is that they worked for the CIA, but supposedly over in England they also worked for MI5. And, um, and then I know that they did a lot of joint work, regardless of which agency they really ultimately worked for. They did a lot of joint work with the Pentagon, and there were um, Pentagon helicopters and officials constantly um, around the Middletons. Supposedly, Mike Middleton's father was training pilots in Canada, so he trained some Canadian pilots during World War II. I also know that he was training and worked with, on the Allies' side, um, United States pilots as well. It was a hop skip basically across from where his training station was over to the United States. And um, so there were certain alliances that were developed during World War II that the United States has been very keen on keeping alive. And these Middletons um, used me for some of the same um, experiments and torture and um, rape development of me, including use of condoms and forcing me to do blowjobs. So, you know, um, 
At one point, I started getting harassed all the time over Kate Middleton. You know, to the point where I I do think that you bringing her up all the time was kind of turning into a scapegoat for the U.S. They just want me to think that this is all about Kate Middleton and it has nothing to do about anything else. But the fact is that the United States was practicing this kind of thing before she was ever born. So they made it worse for me um, after she was born. But, and brought her up all the time. But they were doing all of these different things to me um, far ahead of, of her being born. So, um, they worked together, they, they traded their secrets and their outcomes and the responses that they were able to elicit from a child um, back and forth. And the United States government was giving a lot of money to the Middletons. I know that the FBI was laundering a bunch of money for the CIA to get it over to the Middletons. So, they were, there were other internationals that were involved. I remember the Middleton specifically because I was over there so many times when I was younger. Um, I also know that a phone call was placed in the, day, the day that, um, and time that Kate Middleton was born, it was placed in my parents' house. And um, someone from the Pentagon was informing my parents that she'd been born. So, you know, um, the Middletons were somehow important to my to the Pentagon and to my parents, or one set of the twins or triplets in some way. But there were also some Canadians, there were a bunch of Canadian individuals that were involved when I was very young. Canadians got involved, um, didn't want to be so involved when I was older. They kind of backed out like they're the good guys when I was about eight. But prior to that, they were more than willing to do some really hideous experiments. They were, um, they've done the same thing to some of their Canadian citizens as well. And that was joint work that was sponsored by the CIA. And in fact, Canada was taking money from the CIA. So, um, you know, it was like CIA liked to have Canadians share in the, the blame and shame of what they were doing to kids. And then Canada liked the money. And um, so they all worked together. Um, but since I explained one of these rape kinds of scenarios and how they were trying to make it look like, um, it was something that, that I was going along with or that I actually wanted or that I was even guilty over or something. And the other thing was I, I mentioned the sitting, um, how one of the rape situations um, where they developed a strategy and, and wanted to um, force me to do blow jobs and other se um, mostly blow jobs it wasn't really just like having sex mostly blow jobs but there were various things and um, when from a seated position there was a different set of triggers and a different set of responses they were trying to elicit from me for that situation. So this is really disgusting behavior of the United States. They were thinking ahead of time, thinking out um, different various situations that might come up and how they could utilize those different situations and positions and rape me in any of them. I mean this is like disgusting. And if anyone wants to know why the United States occasionally likes to say that I'm mentally ill, well, have a guess. Have a guess. And what I'm going to do right now is, I'm going to, since I've already done, this is the fifth um, section for the 27th about this, and I did go over some of the things that they did with, with this um, milk for blowjobs. And that milk for blowjobs was also done and practiced, just so you know, in England. And when Margaret Thatcher began eliminating, I met Margaret Thatcher. I was trafficked over there and I met her in person. And then I did remember that um, around the time that I was still being forced to do these whole milk blowjobs for milk things, 
um, around that time she canceled the milk program for kids and um, school lunches in England. And um, and I remember when that happened because she later had, she had said to me secretly, at least I thought, but I mean, who knows who's who and what, why they said what they said. She told me if you need a witness someday, I'll, I'll testify for you. Well, I don't know that she ever testified for me on her own voluntarily, but I know she's supposedly dead now, and I can't get her to testify. But she did cancel this milk program around the same time that I was getting sexually abused by the United States and some people in England over this um, blowjobs for milk business. And um, so this was something that was being participated in with uh, England as well as the U.S. And the um, raping me and torturing me from a seated position and all the triggers and cues that went into that and their development of strategy of how to get me to do low jobs from a seated position for their for the U.S. employees is something that I'm going to talk about next and um, in the next section that I do. And then there's another situation where um, I was being forced to lie down. They, they uh, covered all their bases. They had a rape scenario of how to get me to do blowjobs if they were standing and I was standing. How to um, how to make themselves look innocent and force me to do things for them if from a, when I was in a seated position, which had a different set of cues. And um, punishments, if I didn't respond the way they wanted me to. And also from a lying down position, um, where I would get crushed under their body weight, would be held, held down, and um, if I tried to resist, I was getting cut and um, beat up and threatened with guns. So, you know, like when I say they covered their bases and they were trying to make it look like they could get away with raping me in any situation at all, well, you know, um, they had a whole duck theory going. You know, ducks like to be on land, in the water and in the air. And they figured that I was nothing more than just a bird. And they would make sure they could rape me and get away with it, whether I was lying down, sitting, or in a standing position. And um, this country is corrupt. <laughs>